hey guys hello everyone and welcome to the channel so this video i am just posting because i wanted to give few advices before the exam this is going to be the final advice final tips before the exam okay so what are the things you should do and what are the things you should not do uh, just before the exam so that's what i am going to cover over here although i i was planning to do a live session but uh, it could not happen because of some reason so that's why i'm just recording it and i'm just going to post it okay so uh, first of all what you have to do now like i'm posting this video uh, like around around 8 pm so after that you don't have to study okay don't study anything like just revise whatever you have done if you have made some cheat sheet or if you have written out your some formula and some important uh, reagents and some name reactions just read that out but don't don't read like don't study anything study means you don't go into deep of something because and that time what will happen certain thing will strike to your mind and you will get keep on thinking about that only okay and so if some com confusion arises you will keep on thinking about that so don't make that happen okay that will that that will affect all of your preparation so don't read much not just relax okay just take a good sleep because you have to wake up tomorrow all the exam is in your uh, like afternoon session but you have to wake up because uh, i know that most of you must be having center away from your home so you have to travel also okay so just take a good sleep and try to like get a good sleep because in your exam is an afternoon session as i told you but this that time is like for most of the student that time is sleeping time or that is a like for for taking rest because we take lunch and after that we go for exam so at that time our mind become little slower to work okay so don't do like don't let that happen with you so that's why it's very important to take a proper sleep tonight okay now if you have not uh, like uh, if you have not printed out your admit card just do it quickly okay don't wait for tomorrow just do it quickly and uh, take out your print like take a print out of your admit card keep it with you keep it safe with you and uh, it doesn't matter you can take black and white or color any print out of it so that uh, that things i know you people are aware of uh, aware of okay so for tomorrow morning just wake up revise again whatever the cheat sheets and whatever you have prepared just go through them don't do any new study don't take out any new like don't even watch a new lesson okay like even my videos also i will not say that go and watch certain new video because in that if new things you will you will see certain new thing if you will get to know certain new thing your mind will try to like if sir if by the case if you get stuck at some place if you if you get confused about certain important like certain point then you will keep on thinking about that and that will go that will affect your uh, preparation okay so that's why i'm telling all these things because from morning onwards i'm getting a lot of messages like three four messages till now i have got students are asking about on my videos that how you how you did it how you did that okay so this is okay when you are like when you are more, like when the days are more for exam but just a day before exam it should not happen and similarly i got to like i met one student one, uh, one junior of mine and he was asking me regarding what are important things in d block elements so this should not happen uh, everything should be clear to you by now you should not think about anything new now just believe in yourself that's what i have posted on my facebook page also just believe in yourself and your preparation whatever you are, whatever you have done that's enough okay and one more thing that uh, yeah so tomorrow just reach your center before your exam around like minimum 45 minutes before your exam and don't reach too early also because then you keep on wandering over there and you get like you will get tired over there also so don't reach too early don't reach too late because if you reach late you will get panic and that will affect like that will affect the first 30 minutes of your uh, of your exam okay so i will just suggest you to go on uh, like reach the center on time and just relax yourself like go through the paper just you when you get a question paper what you have to do okay so after getting question paper see uh, whenever you get a question paper you have already made up your mind that you are going to do organic and physical or organic and inorganic or inorganic and physical so whatever you have uh, made your plan just go through that and try to do part c questions first okay always do part c questions first then go to part b and after that whatever time is left and give it for part a right and only do those parts in which you are going to give like if you are going for organic and inorganic so part c will start from inorganic basically for all the sets what i have seen in the previous cs net exam so start doing part c first do your inorganic questions and then go for organic one like that for your physical and organic also physical and inorganic also okay 
so don't go for the other one which you are not planning to do if you are not planning to give uh, organic portion just leave questions from there don't read out all the question paper if you will keep on reading all the question paper the questions you will not know you will think about them and you will feel bad about it and that will affect the question which you already know okay so these are certain things that you should avoid and you should just focus on what parts you have already prepared now if you are if you are doing a question paper if you are if you are reading out a question paper and like say let's say you are not getting answers of few questions like four five questions that doesn't matter in part b 20 questions are enough okay so you have to do 25 but 20 questions if you are doing if you are attempting 20 and 20 plus questions that enough, that's enough okay so don't worry and um, don't worry about part c if you can score from part b as well and in part b when like how much time you have to give so this is also one of the important question which you guys ask so that depends on your speed that depends on how how quickly you do but one and a half hour you should give one and a half hour okay so that 90 minutes you should give to part c what i feel then next one hour to part b and last 30 minutes to part a so that's how i manage and i usually do part a first but i will not suggest to everyone every one of you because uh, everyone is not having part a as their strength okay so that's why i have i have told you like that do part c first then part b and then part a okay and uh, yeah so one more thing that if you are if while doing the answers don't get panic okay try to do them like try to read the question properly then do the uh, then then do the answer secondly while marking your omr sheet be very careful okay because what happens in all the exam what i have heard by students that they have done correct answer in the question paper they, but they have marked wrong in omr sheet so there is no solution for that uh, that is just mere uh, like silly mistake that uh, that's what i would call but you should not do like that okay you should be very careful while filling your uh, omr sheets so this is one of the important thing and after that when you give your exam uh, you come back to your home don't discuss that that much the questions on facebook and anywhere just believe whatever you have done okay just believe in yourself believe in you know, believe in whatever you have studied till now and the, uh, everything is going to be well okay so you should not be worried that much about the exam just stay calm stay relaxed okay there is a lot of things to be done apart from this jrf this is this is like i would i say that this is a lot of overrated exam okay you should not think that much about this stay calm just give it in a way that you can like just give it like that only okay don't take that much pressure mental pressure or any kind of physical pressure that will only get that will only affect your uh, like your strategy and your exam okay so don't take any kind of pressure just go just do your best okay and uh, that's all why uh, what i wanted to tell you and uh, i just hope that you will do all of your best okay and uh, regarding the answer key and what i am going to give after this exam so i am also going to appear in this exam I, i'll just go for the question paper to see the level of exam and all so i'll just go for that i will not mark answers over there so yeah just after the exam i will try to post answer keys a solution of that question paper basically so that is what you are going to get on your unacademy profile like on my unacademy profile you are going to get over there so i'll post the link for that uh, for that particular uh, like course which is already posted because what i why i'm doing so because if i make a new course then it will take around one day time because it will get it it has to get approved from the unacademy team and then it comes live okay so i don't want to waste one day so to to give your answer to give with the solution keys quickly that's what i have decided that i will just post in a previous uploaded course that is csi ugc four marker questions so the course name is like that i will give the link in the community tab as well and i will give the link in down in the description as well for this video okay so you can go over there uh, you can enroll yourself into that uh, and after enrollment uh, like whenever i will upload the solution you will get notification in your phone so then you can watch the solutions over there okay now this is also one of the important thing that after exam you should not go for the answer keys you should not go and check the answers because uh, see these uh, these are the things you should avoid because after exam you should relax whatever whatever you have done till now whatever you have studied for the exam just give your mind some time to relax to absorb everything after that if you want to pre like although i know that most of you are preparing for gate 2019 okay so give some time give one or two day time for your mind to relax watch your favorite movies watch or like go with your friends have fun and after that 
uh, go back to the studies okay so after that come back and study for it so that's all from my side and uh, i just hope i just pray that all of you who are preparing for this csi net exam who are going to appear tomorrow all of you qualify this and all of you are watching my all the best wishes are with you so i just wish all the best from my side go do your best give your best shot and we'll meet after the exam after that we'll do a quick review of the exam just after the exam i'll post a quick review and later on we'll discuss what what was the exam what will be the cut off what are the other things okay so just take a good sleep tonight have a like have your favorite food take sleep and all the best stay like key, um, wake up tomorrow morning have a fresh day take like give your best shot tomorrow okay so that's all for this video i just wish you all the best from my side once again and uh, i'll see you after the exam